local Bayer truck market. Bayer truck market. And we are here primarily for one thing. And I don't want to say one thing only, but we're here. To, we're here to, for the La Cocina, which we're walking towards right now. We're going to show you guys the rest of the store because it is a really big yeah. place. The, they have how many? Do they have about three or four? They have Bayer this markets? one. They have the one over in the shopping center with uh, the La Michoacana yeah. ice cream shop. They have one over on Rosedale the Highway. They have the main three that I can think of. Yeah. Look, look at this. Hold on. Let me switch this around. You can see these cakes. But look at some of these cakes here. These are absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. Can we take one home? Oh wait, we can't because they're uh, rather they're expensive. They're $56. Yeah. But to get for you to get a, a cake looking like that, that's amazing. Oh, look at these cupcakes. Hold on, I'm being Paige. Oh my gosh. We pork skin chicken on it. That's like the big. That's like the big one you would get and you just bust apart. So right here, so right here is the La Cocina, which what does it mean, Logan? The kitchen. The kitchen, and uh, they usually have, they usually have at least the one I've been to. They have a bin with um, tamales in them. Except right here, you see the different stuff they got, which is pretty good. And then they got the drinks are here and chicken and carnitas and the chicaronis and I, the tortillas. I don't see a bin for I don't see the bin for tamales, which is what I was looking for. They also have some fried chicken. I saw that. And uh, some, some wedges. Uh, I will, what did that say? Chicaron de Rusa? Yeah. What, what is it? Chicaron? So pork, it, 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 it tells you in English pork cracklings with fat. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I can read. <laughs> so, so, I'm, 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 so is this like for like, like a burrito or something? I don't know. It's to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find the uh, see if I can find the, oh wait the tamales, the tamales are over here no wonder I can't find them I walked right by them so one of the reasons why I like coming here is because you can get first of all you can see you get you get tamales you get three you know a single one for three bucks and then you get a half dozen for 17 bucks what is half and damn, that's hot. You see, here got sweet corn, hatch chili, beef or pork, cheese with red roasted sauce. Poblano. Yeah, Ooh. and they all sound really good. So, and it and it warns you, this is a hot surface. Yeah. Because knowing one of us. We'd burn ourselves. Yeah, on the most, most likely. <laughs> so the one thing I neglected to realize is they don't have plates here. We have these little bags. So I'm going to grab one of these bags. And then I'm going to grab a couple of these tamales. I'm just trying to figure out which one I want. If I want, you know, I want the tamales with cheese, the red sauce, the hatch chili, or the sweet corn. So I'll be right back with you. Alright, I got a couple of tamales and I got the I got the one with the red sauce and I got a hatch chili tamale. And meeting up with these guys over here. Here are my tamales. I can pay for my tamales if you want. Yeah, let's get them all together. Alright. For, for freer. So what'd you get? Uh, I got I got pork ribs. Pork ribs, all right. Yeah. And Logan, what'd you get? The chili relleno. Okay. And I got, it looks like you got Cokes too, right? Yep. All right. So what? I should have brought you my- Cokes? Yeah. I should, I should have brought my keys because they, they have a bottle opener. I got a bottle opener. Oh, okay. I, I carry one with me. So, 
here are coats in the original glass bottles. And the funny part is, and I don't know why, but whenever I've been asked to get like a Mexican Coke, uh, that's it. It's, it's the Coke in the glass bottles. I don't know if it's like something that they've all of a sudden for some reason because uh, like be, because it gives you the the authentic experience that's true logan over here got the uh guava aguas frescas it's a limited time so it sounded good so i ordered it how is it i haven't tried it yet i thought you just took a sip of it no i just took the straw in it okay now we're gonna take a sip of it Ooh. It's almost got a smoothie like uh, texture to it. Nice. Drinking the overflow. <sighs> Alright, so this is the hatch chili tamale. And I only got a couple of them and I just went, I took the uh, the corn husks off and then you can see the all the different corn and rice. And I'm not exactly sure what a hatch chili is unless it's this little over here. That must be the hatch chili. Uh, Logan was asking me the right question earlier. He was like, uh, where are the forks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Man, we'll probably be getting some with the uh, Tyler and I's meals. So, so. But I just thought I'd break it open and let you guys see what the tamale looks like. Uh, that tastes pretty good. And the hatch chili is a little spicy. But not overpowering. But this is pretty good. So there's. So here is the chili relleno. This is the number six on their menu. Uh, if you've been watching our channel for a while, I had a chili relleno for the first time over at Los Tucanes Taqueria. Right. Over in Old Town Kern, and I really liked the one there. So when I saw they had that on their menu here at the La Cocina, I decided to get it. That looks really good, dude. It does look very good. And Tyler over here said he got pork ribs. Yeah, pork ribs and salsa verde. Oh my gosh. That looks absolutely delicious. And see you guys see why you guys ordered those. Mm -hmm. And you got your own you got your own uh, tortillas to go boot with them. Yeah. Yep. Logan was nice enough to go get me a fork. Yeah, the... actually we're eating the tamales like burritos. Well that's what I usually do because when you're on the run, it's like yeah. It's like you just, you just unwrap them and you just eat them. Yeah. But these are really good. So, time to dig in. Yep. So Tyler finally got his first bites of his of his uh, chili verde ribs. And uh, yeah, he's got a big old smile on his face. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Now, let me ask you an honest question. Would you have thought of getting something like this in a grocery store? No, <laughs> because it's kind of the, the only uh, other th thing I can think of that had that has like a that, 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 that serves hot food and salsa for places like Albertsons, uh, Winco, Bonds. Yeah. Just smoke Texas barbecue. Yeah. yeah. Of course, I don't know if they have that location anymore. I don't think they're there anymore. I think they're over uh, right behind the patio. Where, where are we? Yeah, where yeah, are we that's where we... they are right now. But their first location was inside of a Chevron. Chevron gas station. station, yeah. Which is interesting. Uh, you've just uh, taken the first couple bites of your chili relleno. Mm. Nice and spicy. It's like <laughs> spicier than the one at the uh, <laughs> Korea. I mean, it's nothing overwhelming. All right. Just more spice than I'd anticipated. Good. Oh yeah. And it, it's like the right amount of heat without making you feel like you're dying. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this one is a pork. Um, tamale with the red sauce. I can tell you why, because it's right there it says puerco, which means pork or big. Yeah. Plus they also have it in English too, so yeah. pork. So that way you know it's a pork tamale. I mean, it did say, you know, pork or beef with the red sauce, so I'm kind of going to dig into this as this is the first time I've ever seen like Tyler eat slowly. Also, <laughs> I found the rib. You found the rib? Oh, oh, it, it looks it's steaming. Nice. All right, so I've gotten about halfway through this tamale with the red sauce. A little spicy, got a little bit of a kick to it. 
nothing too nothing too big, nothing too bad. Um, really tasty, really good tamale. You over here, Rogan? Yes. Uh, you okay? Oh yeah. Soaking in the food. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's really good. So I'm taking my time trying to savor everything. Uh -huh. Do we need to call the fire department? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, very, very good. Very good. Now I'm going to ask you the same question. Would you have thought of getting this kind of food in a grocery store? No. I mean, that's because we already have so many other like Mexican restaurants right. in Bakersfield that my mind wouldn't immediately go to get it at the, the grocery store, but I mean, I've heard great things about the Vallarta before. Yeah. So that's why we decided to come here today. Yeah. And it was priced pretty pretty reasonably, too. Mm -hmm. This tiger over here is just... It's just pulling like, out the ribs. <laughs> like, it's weird. It's like... The, the, I think they've been in there for so long that the, the bones have become soft. Right. Like, um, I, I get I, what you're saying. Yeah. So I'm just like just pulling them out, eating the meat. Yep. Still good? Mm -hmm. I'll give you one last look at my tamale before it's all gone. You can see nothing here special. Pork, shredded pork, red sauce, and the, uh, the corn on top. You know, that's all this is. And it is really good. This is what I used to have when uh, I would be out working late and I was starting to get hungry and I was like, oh, I'm right near Vallarta. I might as well go in and get a couple of tamales. And that's when I was like, you know, and then I remember bringing you in there one, one day to, hey, check this out. You're like, tamales. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you guys are just, you're gonna take your time with this. I'm gonna be sitting here watching you eat. Well, yeah, but everything's really good. The rice, the beans, the chili verano. Oh, good stuff. There's that face. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as I'm sitting here with my bottle of Coca-Cola, it took me back to the days of when you could only get Coke in bottles like this and I started singing I'd like to teach the world of song in perfect harmony I'd like to give the world a coke and keep it company yeah that's what I it didn't look it's like what are you singing <laughs> I didn't recognize well the, the commercial was like from like 1968 or something mm. Really? Yeah, it's it's old. It's either it's either late sixties, early seventies. Um, but I was like, yeah, I want to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony, and I'd like to give the world a coke and keep it company. <laughs> oh, he's in that coma phase. Yeah, he is right there. Fire is slowly going out. <laughs> You, would, oh. you can see that there's there just a little bit left of his chili relleno as he's been munching on his tortillas. Tyler finally got to open his tortillas. They were hot. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like almost, potato. And he's almost done with his with his with his ribs. Oh, it's falling apart as I'm trying to fold it. <laughs> So Tyler was telling me how much he's enjoying these tortillas. Oh yeah. He could definitely, he was like, you could definitely tell these are homemade. Oh yeah, because they're soft and totally easy to chew. Easy to chew. I'm just, uh, he's dipping his, I'm just dipping it into the, the leftover um, sauce. Logan over here is all done with his chili yeah. relleno. He's in coma mode right now, just yeah, drinking no, up I'm his... Yeah, drinking the guava agua frescas, which is really good. Right? Limited time. And I've had lots of other guava yeah. flavored stuff, and guava's really good. So. Alright, so we are 
just about to head out. We are just about to head out. Finish up at the day. Yeah. That's some pretty good uh, food. Checking out on his uh Yeah, he's getting, his he's getting some groceries for us. We're just trying to figure out how to get over there. Um, but the food here is, food is pretty good. It if, was. if you're looking for just something really quick and, you know. Um, and this particular Bayarta is like, what would you like say? It's on Niles, Niles Street, right down the, from Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon, yeah. It's actually just next door to the Root Beer King. Yeah, actually, it's just down the street from the Root Beer King. Which is a place we did a year? A year or so ago, yeah. A little over a year ago. So, as we clock on out, Logan, if they want to check us out anywhere else, where they go? If you want to find all the links to our social media, you can find that at linktree slash travel by nature. Spelled the same way as our channel handle and the number 8 T U R E. There you can find our TikTok, our Instagram, our merch store. I don't know, a few other things we're putting together for yep. Travel by Nature. If they want to help out the channel? You can. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share it to your yeah, friends. Share it out to your friends, leave us a comment, makes us smile. And what else can they do? If you really like our videos, you can consider joining our channel. Where you would do that is on the homepage of our channel, right next to the subscribe button. We have three tiers, one $4.99, one $7.99, and one $9.99. So if you love our content, you can help us out there. And anything you donate to the channel goes right back to the channel. Yep. But from here at the Viorta Supermarket on Niles in East Bakersfield, I am Goose. I'm Logan. Tyler's still in the store. Still in the store. We're traveled by nature. Thank you for watching.